There you go. Um, didn't look, he's going to be here later on for the John Wick stuff, that's fine. Um, I got this. I, I got it handled. But uh, equally what's worth noting is that the first map was won by uh, Flipside, 16-11 on Mirage. Then we just had uh, Mike SMG managing to actually play really well against Flipside on... They were definitely the better team there on Overpass, and uh, they brought it back. I think it was a 16-13 scoreline along those lines. Something to that effect, and we will have ourselves the uh, conclusion of the, pistol, the uh, knife round there, and we will uh, move into into the match. So much casting, so much casting. It's it's crazy, isn't it? We have um, we have the face at land very soon as well as uh, the John Wick stuff. Uh, if you are crazy enough to stay up for that, it's going to be starting at 2 a.m. Central European time. So we'll be up till 7 a.m. doing that one. It's going to be fun as well. And my XMG are going to be starting off on the CT right now as flip side are on the terrorist side on the pistol round. We'll be making the way up second and mid currently, and we are going to see. A decent presence, actually, in, I think, the apps. There it is. Found, uh, found a Cillian in the bedroom. They're going to make their way up into a second mid, though, through uh, the middle. Up onto CT Arch. Denied by MSL, though, as the smoke does go down. So good counterplay from the CTs. Just reacting to Flipside very effectively as we see them stopping the push up towards CT Arch. Trying to actually split around onto the B site, perhaps, but the bomb is well and truly down in CT Arch. There's not much you can do to get that. Unless Berg is a Jedi, I don't think he's going to make this happen. And that's great. He's clearly not a Jedi. So, uh, so, so that's not going to work. So flip side now going to have to eco twice. I mean, as they are going to eco twice, they can just buy in this round. So that's fine. Well, it's essentially the same thing. Um, as they are able to have more than enough money going into the fourth round with a buy like this. And then a full eco on the second round. So let's see how much damage they can actually accrue. And obviously the point of this is to keep the pressure on. I mean, you can argue that some teams like to just buy the the uh, sorry the, the the pistols and not the armor, so they can do the pistols again on the the third round. But here we're going to see the uh, the full the full Monty, as you as it were. So they're going to go in now onto the push towards the arch. So far, SNF is executing quite well. Cillian is going to also execute the defense there. It was a bit snag staggered was that push. They weren't able to attack from both sides at once, allowing Cillian a little bit of an easier time than perhaps they should have done. And that lack of synchronization is going to cost them even a single frag. So the investment is uh, somewhat useless, but once again, you know, they would they would be forced to be good twice anyway. They will they might as well go with that buyers as, as the you know they're going to have the money to buy on the fourth round regardless. So there you go, standard stuff. Worth pointing out. So anti-eco now for my XMG once again. We want to see uh, it looks like Hunden and MSL tested. Hunden there ready with the smoke. Uh, MSL over by the coils. And he's got a great vantage point here. He's going to be picking them off. Oh, hello. The grenade doing a lot of damage. And that is a very fast takedown. Yummy, yummy eco frags. And MSL already going to be on seven frags because of that. So a lot of cash actually from those kills as well. So three to zero. And it's uh, early days for flip side as they are going to be bringing themselves back into the game. Notably, actually, they've chosen to purchase three HEs in favor of actually finding the uh, flashes. That leads me to believe they want an HE at a position up onto car. And I think that that's exactly what they just did, or at least I saw one grenade uh, making its way towards car. So we have to double check exactly what these these uh, grenade purchases are for. Usually grenades, if you, if you have a low amount of money to, to actually focus on your, your grenade choices, if you're buying HEs, it's usually for a specific reason. Um, as the flashes uh, and the, the smokes are going to help a rush much more than, than an HE will. And we can see that uh, there is still a couple of HEs left and a bunch of smokes. So Flipside just gaining some position so far. As MSL is on the corner there, ready to spot a slither of a pixel, and he even gets the kill onto Zender. There comes the support from Hunden, keeping MSL safe. That's the team play. The buddy system coming into play now as Flipside have one up uh, there, pushing up middle. So there comes the first HE there from Dumas, as a fire is rained down upon the boiler area. Flipside working their way into 
middle now. They can still double back if they want, but they haven't left anyone in Banana, so it's they won't know what's going on there. So they're probably just going to go for the, the straight up push here onto the safe side. There it is, Berg with a free one. He does finally get it down, and SMF already on the angle drops the planter. Beautifully done. And flip side struggle to make their way in, but the frag coming in from Dumas. Entries deluxe as SMF is still in the site. The bomb is down and ticking. And two players left. Twist over by Pitt. This is a marvelous position to, to defend the site from. MSL going to go in, jumping on top, and he's oh the, just the air control in is not going to save them. Twist with two frags and Dumas with the peak from the balcony, and that's going to be the round for flip side. Explosive ending there to that eight. Retake situation, Mike SMG not ready for that. And it looked like, looked like Twist was uh, more than ready for the, the air control there of uh, MSL, I believe it was. And I was actually really surprised that he picked that one off. MSL with a very good maneuver you know, through onto that aggression, but it uh, didn't actually work out. Going to see the quick put, uh, pick potential from Freeze with the AWP all the way down towards the slope. And he's going to push down middle. This is so aggressive to try to find a frag towards second mid. There's no one showing themselves yet, but they will soon. He does have support from his teammate looking down towards the top of T slope, but no one is going to be challenging them just yet. So early risks here for my XMG, but they found ways to make it as safe as possible. That's how you do it in this game with risk taking. Find ways to make it safe, and usually your teammates can do that. Here he goes, great uh, attempt there from Twist, but going to be Freezy's quicker. Pulling the trigger there just in time to take out Twist. Berg already down to 25 points of health as Flipside do find themselves now. Up banana. We smoked there, very good. Timing on that resmoke. So many grenades still held by my XMG. They've done very well to hold on to these. In fact, MSL ready to resmoke this again. That's about 15, 17 seconds left of uh, uh, smoke as soon as that goes down. And that's going to already going to put the round to 15 seconds. They're going to have to go through the smoke. They'd have no choice. Grenade going to take down Berg. MSL going to just spray down Benji. Hunden with one. They can't get through at all. Dumas is left alive as the last man standing, and there's just nothing for him to do. Selene's going to come in from the back, and Dumas is going to find him a one-on-one -on -one challenge, and he's going to hit the stepping, but it's going to be Essilion who takes the kill. So beautifully handled here from the Danes. Masterclass there against Flipside, who felt themselves uh, without any other options other than the B-push, and they were, they were fully committed, it smokes on or nay, when push came to shove. We're going to see uh, Freeze once again, perhaps getting aggressive with the orb. He, they didn't spot that uh, play early on in the round, so he doesn't have support watching him uh, to watch him so he can peek down second mid. And uh, we can see they are pushing quite quickly up, and it's going to be SMF who's going to spot that as Freeze goes down onto the angle. He can support SMF if he has to back away. He's over towards library with the AWP, as Quad is held by a silly, and as we can see, he is on top of Pit. Flipside slow things down a little bit now as uh, we do see SMF pushing behind the smoke, ready with the spray. I'm going to put some bullets back into him, you know, watching those traces through the smoke. It's going to find the frag, but in comes Freeze. It's going to be his time to shine now with the AWP, but he's going to miss the first shot. And that's not a good start there, but they don't push the position. Flipside still just holding, waiting perhaps for a pick. There's 45 seconds left. I'm just waiting. My XMG, though, they're not giving anything away. It's a patience game at the moment. As Flipside are finally forced to go in. And they are going to try and look for these kills. And they are going to get gunned down. And that was beautiful patience there from My XMG. They had no reason to move. The only reason to move could be perhaps their own anxiety. But uh, they are cool as cucumbers currently, and uh, I have no idea why that's the saying, because cucumbers, unless you store them in a, perhaps a refrigerator, are not going to be cool. So there you go. Someone's going to have to explain that to me one day. I have to get on the Googles. But we're going to see uh, Freeze moving for a push again down middle. And uh, he does get flashed away from the angle, so he's not going to be able to make the pick down to middle. And not going to even be able to spot anything. As we c and as we can see, Chris is there, throwing in some uh, bullets from that Galil up middle. And it's a very annoying position there by that lamp post, as we can see. Uh, you know, it's, it's anyone who's uh, used to playing this game will. Uh, everyone's died to the guy that's only showing his helmet. There is you peak middle. 
over by the crawl space. A nice little aggression there onto Freezer's position. He does have support, though. And we can see that every single time Freezer's been making a play, he's had support. Sicilian, usually, he's playing with Freeze. Okay, so he's going to go for the peak, thanks to the uh, pop flash there, his teammate. Uh, Freeze, who took a turn to support his Sicilian uh, instead. And of course, it is going to give them a result. Uh, Flipside make their way up middle now. They are lacking opportunity. And it is this push that could just very well remedy that to create a single opportunity if they are to get an entry. Freeze is ready on the angle, though. Here go the grenades. Smoked off, and Freeze is forced to push back towards Library, but that is sure to be uh, needed off as well. There is fire for Freeze as he turns the corner, looks behind him, spots the teammate, gives away his position, but they don't take notice just yet now as the grenade comes in. And looks like Hunden is going to try to do what Freeze could not and bring in the kills, but there they are, both on that angle. And Freeze gets the tag and the kill, and in comes Hunden to try to finish off the job. It is uh, just Berg left. He does get the plant, but I'm afraid that's just not good enough. My SMG, the uh, storm ahead now. Flipside using a lot of time in the round, and uh, quite a, perhaps a Freeze should fix his radar, or perhaps check it every now and again. The team damage onto Hunden there could have gone quite quite awry, especially had. Flipside actually noticed that he was there. But uh, in all the madness and all the chaos and uh, cra craziness of that push, they, they did not notice. And we want to see exactly where that smoke's going to go. There it is, uh, landing in front of the car. And this is the middle smoke. There's three options you have, the deep smoke, the middle smoke, and the smoke where Hunden is standing on the choke point itself into the site. And this is uh, something that is really, really nice if you, if you don't want to take a big risk in the push and then expend a lot of resources in the push down towards the you know the bottom of banana, but just want to keep uh, keep them away from car and force them to waste stuff. But they're going to go for the well out aggression into the loving embrace of these M4s, which will happily receive them. Berg and Dumas on a very low amount of health, and it is just drags for days here for my XMG against the Eco. And it is uh, one of those you know, stylistic choices. It's uh, all, all, all down to the strategy you want to play as a CT side. Do you want to have a strategy that uh, consists of, or has the, the, the concept of, OK, we want to limit their options by limiting their map control and information and maximizing our information? That's, that's a strategy for that you know, includes tactics for deep banana smokes. But you know, back to that later now, as we are into the beginning of this round, and once again, we see the similar play. This is going to, again, force out resources from flip side if they want to take that position. If they want to know exactly what's happening behind the smoke. But instead, uh, a player can be left there, and in fact, they are falling back to the site. So, Mike SMG playing uh, without any risks, just using that smoke to perhaps force some uncertainty and some grenades out from flip side. And even two players uh, used to clear banana from flip side. As we do have uh, Hunden playing the floater role for Mike SMG, goes back towards B now, as very little has been spotted towards A. There's a low level of threat towards A, so that's, uh, that, is the, that is the reason why Hunden has been queued to move back there. But that's just because you know, Flipside have yet to really make a move. And here they are now, making their move. Twist, going to be the man to try to get the entry towards DTR. Spots freeze, connects the shot. And now Flipside, ready to go in off the back of this. We do have the push coming in from Balcony as well in Dumas. Dumas is going to try to make this happen. Really big opportunity for Dumas here in all of this chaos trying to make this happen. There is still a player, there it is, Asilion, who could really throw a wrench into the works now for Flipside as they get that bomb down and are looking to get that second round on the board, but yet to really spot anyone, Asilion. Incredible patience from the man as his team is racking up the kills so far. Well, just one, in fact. So they're going to finally take down Dumas. And SMF to play as well. Great stuff from SMF, the second frag. And the third found SMF with a great triple there to secure the defuse for Asilian. And that is going to be the round. Once again, my XMG just playing the most critical of patience, the most incredible patience to get these round victories. Asilian just sitting there for so long. There's fire all around, smoke players shooting at each other left and right and instead he knows how the importance to hold a position and once again he's going to uh, Cillian is going to show the uh, the middle smoke for banana a 
as we can... Wait, there we go. Wait, there we go. 100. There we are. So there you go. You can see the, the middle smoke. And you can even see the legs of the players. If you look at the smoke placement, there's actually a small gap at the bottom right of it uh, from the T's perspective. And uh, considering the elevation of my XMG, they will actually spot that, I think, first from the right angle. Either way, uh, flip side. Making their way up middle. Bit of a tag there from Twist uh, onto a city, and that's going to force them back from CT, from the CT arch position. And he's going to go to library instead. As uh, Mike SMG are, are really wanting to take Banana, at least with one player, MSL pushed to the sandbags. And uh, they need some info at the moment. The flip side yet to really give them much. So Mike SMG either have to work for it or to just react. And we're going to see another push coming in from flip side onto the A bomb site. In comes uh, Mask once again from the balcony position. And uh, they're not going to find much. They're sitting already getting the denial on some players. Look at the smokes everywhere. And SMF coming in with a double frag. Hunden is going to combine as well with MSL up middle. And it's just a superior defense here, beating out uh, the offense of flip side. And they can't quite find the, the A play to work. They, the, it's, it's quite possible that they keep running this because they feel like, okay, guys, we executed all the smokes right. We got all the positions. We know that we're just not getting the entries. If we just connect the entries, we'll get the rounds. But uh, right now, it is all about Mike SMG and their team play. You're going to see the uh, quick push in there from, from uh, it was SMF, because he does uh, dart back now. And they go hyper passive after the ag initial aggression. All the players spotted second mid. And they're going to be quick to rotate uh, Hunden now, as they know the amount of players spotted was a significant. Freeze does get the first kill as his push does come in. That's going to cut off the approach there from the CT Arch as it's all funneling through quad. And SMF is ready for this. Just lopping off the head of Benji now. And there's the second one from MSL coming in from the side. And that's going to be the round there for my XMG as they go 10 to 1. And this is looking like a complete, completely crushing performance on the CT half. It's not even looking close. It looks like can't even get... I think it's been a while since we saw a close round. I think it was SMF who made a, a very critical triple kill with the uh, Asilian being very patient on the balcony. I think that was the last really close one that we saw uh, on the A side. I think Zephyr is going to take the shot there. Twist is going to get caught jumping around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. And that's certainly what happened thanks to the orb of Freeze. And we're going to see Flipside moving in with the push now. The CZ's coming into play once again. And this time it's just a, it's just a shooting range now for my XMD. They are so confident on these A defenses. They have great setups. And SMF performing wonderfully. Freeze with the last frag. And 11 to 1 is going to be the score. So certainly a lot left to be designed for flip side. The Swedish lineup is not quite finding or hitting the mark as we are going to see the AWP onto Twist. And uh, AWP is uh, certainly not something that's usually good for the T side unless the other team is aggressively AWPing. And that has been happening repeatedly and Twist has had enough of the shenanigans from Freeze. Freeze though is actually playing quite defensively as we can see on the minimap. He's just uh, sticking to his guns over by the corner on... Uh, Oh, nice grenades work. But uh, over on the corner by CT Arch. He's actually going to float around now. So Freeze is going to be coming in with the orb. He's split two to a site. And now if they go for the A play, it should be quite successful. They've retained five players. The only difference is that Twist uh, doesn't have the dynamic, or, or, or rather the versatility to move quickly or have a lot of mobility with the AWP. But they do have the man advantage. They forced two to a site. Surely the A play should go much better for them here. Decillion are ready to just completely disrupt the push. And scorn and well, and force them to have to deal with a flank. Oh, and he's creeping around the back of Cillian, ready to blow up the round there. He's gonna find the head of one and a second as well. Cillian executing Twist and Dumas in quick succession as they now fall to a B play. And it's gonna be very difficult for them now, but it is a three on three. Burr gonna come in. Not quite getting a quick pick there onto the player on Speedway. And that is gonna be flip side now. Rotating back for the committed, committed play towards A. There is still a Cillian alive, though, in pit. Very good position for him now to find even more kills. A Cillian does get taken down. As we're going to see Freeze blocked off by the smoke. Going to get straight in there, though. And in goes the incendiary. And uh, Hunden coming in. But he does have Zender in the boiler. And Zender is off at the moment. Hunden. Oh, we might just see him in time. 
Just ready for this, and there it is. Hunting gets the frag. As he has his teammate trying to scope in on the angles. Picked up the AK. Bomb is still ticking away. Berg is going to find the frag. And the second one coming from Benji. And that's going to be a round for Flipside as they get themselves two rounds to, on the board. But two rounds is certainly... Well, it's, it's, it's a number that's greater than one, but, <laughs> but I mean... It's it, but 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 it's still very very uh, very tough. Let's but let's leave it like that. It's very very tough for them. I'm gonna see Freeze is playing aggressively once again. They've they've really switched up the pace. You know, Freeze was going aggressive very early on um, in the in the first first half here. Moving into the last uh, last half of the first half, let's say, and he's he's switched it up. He's playing much more passively, and they're keeping this a level of unpredictability. And we and we saw actually that Twist kind of was forced to buy an orb. Uh, he felt forced to buy not to deal with Freeze, but uh, Freeze, in fact, has started to play really passive, so he couldn't really be picked easily. So that actually played to the advantage, in some senses, of my SMG. But that said, Twist is going to get the pick on the peak. Going to be superior in this round to the AWP of my SMG, Freeze, as they go a player up once again. And this time, could it be the no-nonsense A push, or are they going to go for the rotate back? Hunden already taking down Berg, and that's going to put definitely a bit of a dampener on the situation. But Twist is ready. Can't hit the hip shot, though. Asylian does take him out. And, uh, oh, sorry, SMF does take him out. As we have a three-on-three, -three, and they are going to go in for this. SMF ready to try to take him down, though. And he can't get even a single kill, as he relies upon Hunden. Hunden is going to deliver, though. And the cell to help him out as well as Zender and Dumas with the last 25 seconds try to find an opening for the plant. But Hunden, oh, can't quite make the frag. And in they go. MSL trying to go around towards the pit angle. And Hunden's going to get the, the kill from behind the smoke. And it just gets worse and worse for Dumas, who is now left alone in this clutch situation. Picks up the bomb. 10 seconds left. Finds nothing. Hunden going to take him down. And that's a great quad kill there from Hunden. Picks up the AWP as well. Definitely the MVP of that round as my XMG go 12 to the two of a flip side. And we are certainly looking at a, uh, a very, very strong map here. And Flipside looked like they could just run away with this and get their match against uh, the winner of Hellraiser as an alternate. And uh, I'm not sure how that's progressing just yet, but we will find out very soon. Freeze now uh, ready with the grenade, pre-nade. And oh my goodness, that's going to really connect. Mike and D are going to be tossing in all the counter grenades. They've read this. It's coming in, and we've seen so many strong A defenses from them. They don't necessarily have the best positions in the world, but they are closing in around the terrorists. The bow constrictor play from my XMG, but Flipside bursting out with the CZs, managing to actually subvert this push, and they're going to go all the way to B now through CT. They do have a Hunden ready and waiting with that incendiary. That's going to slow them down, and that's beautiful. Because that is going to give them time for Hunter to check Banana to eliminate the flank potential and to allow SMF to run up freely and also for his teammates to come in. But Hunden does he even need a hand. Do you have a, a Cillian all the way on this side just waiting? But uh, SMF and uh, Hunden. Oh, no, no, no. This could, oh, this could get dirty right now. Oh, it, it, he might see a pixel there. It's very hard to tell. And he's going to just go for the wall bang and he gets it. Very well played. Uh, beautiful boost there. They are so patient. Considering the bomb is there, ready and planted. It's all going to be on Dumas now. Going to get eliminated instantly by SMF. And that's a 13 to 2 first half. Can you believe that the Danes absolutely destroying Flipside? Bomb has been defused. Almost, uh, almost looking for a new adjective to, to describe quite how destroyed they got. But perhaps I should have a thesaurus on hand. But I don't. I need a, I need a thesaurus. But uh, anyway, um, 13 to 2, how do Flipside come back from this? Well, I mean, gotta got to stay in the moment. The first thing's first, got to play it round by round. Whenever in a situation like this, it's all about playing round by round. You can't think about um, how do we get back, you know, 14 rounds in a row. How, does, how do we do that? No, you don't think that. That's, that's not going to work. You've got to take this round by round and see what you can do and uh, keep your focus alive and, and be present moment. We're seeing Mike SMG trying to uh, push back the players of Flipside. They had three pushing down Banana to try to take early control, but it looked like they were easily deterred, actually. Almost seemed like uh, exactly what they wanted was for a push up Banana so they could use superior numbers, but in fact they are going to let uh, Mike SMG push them back. So, uh, 
things definitely slowing down at the moment on the map. As we are seeing Flipside just holding tight to the sights with the three man B and the two man A. Right, SMG readying themselves up perhaps for a push towards B, but we can see that the bomb is uh, here. <laughs> London is uh, just doing his own thing, just keeping the pressure on apartments as they are, I would say, setting up for the push towards B, but it looks like they are moving back with a few players. Although it just seems to be MSL now, as the bomb does get tossed towards uh, Freeze. There's the Frash and the peak, and that's some information, but Chris is it's going to cost the extreme, the ultimate price is life for that bit of information. Berg going to go for the challenge, takes down MSL. In comes the push towards the B bomb side as the bomb rotates back around. Zender, Dumas taking frags, and now it's down to Freeze and SMF. SMF has done some crazy stuff on Overpass, but with that Glock, but I don't think he's going to get it right now. Flip side, hold on. Pissed around one by them. And, uh,. Just gonna ask for what, what is the what is the score for Hellraiser's alternate right now? Just gonna pose that question and uh, get that information back to you guys. Okay, so Hellraiser took the map the first map 16-14 and it's currently 6-6 on cash, so uh, that, that map that uh, game's a little bit behind this one. But either way, back into the match we do see the the investment of the pistols. We talked about this on uh, when Flipside were playing uh, well, when it was the first half, this, this uh, situation for when it was a flip side situation, they went for the pistol armor. We see the variation here. It's going to be pistols, a ton of pistols the next round with no armor uh, for Mike and G to keep the pressure on them all the rounds. But so far, it's not really working out for them. They haven't even scratched a single player from flip side. And uh, this, uh, this light pressure play is not really. Uh, the problem with it is that you don't really have much to play with when it comes to grenades. And this is a map where it's more or less impossible to, to bum rush against a good CT side. You need, uh, you need grenades to help you. And uh, something I used to see Fnatic do all the time, which I thought was really good, is actually invest in two flashes. And if you get two people, to, or like one person to top flash you in, um, in middle, if you're going to rush middle with no armor and, and pistols, and you can just keep that going on a Glock, the guy who's got the two flashes. And um, that's going to at least give you an extra chance and some more utility. But either way, we're going to see, of course, uh, as they did buy up previously, the uh, the Glocks here. A couple PT-50s and a flash on this man. Hundred, got it in his hand right now. Let's see if this is going to help them get out of boiler. It, it might not. Uh, might not be enough though. Berg is ready with the Famas, and he's got some good cover by the pillars. And they're going to come in and actually take the frags down onto. Uh, players up on the balcony and two frags to be found already and MSL is in with the, the bomb now and the plant and SMF going to pick himself up a FAMAS. This round just got real for Flipside as they have to make this retake happen. My XMG with severe levels of damage on this push. Just with the Glocks as well. This is moving in now onto the site and still a really good situation. Going for the fake now, going to force SMF to come out of his hidey hole and it's not going to be enough. SMF has to go in now, the defuse coming in again. The fake in fact, Zender trying to force him out and SMF read it, he's just waiting now. He is just waiting, he read it perfectly and trying to retreat. Zender left with what seem seemingly was an impossible situation and uh, the, <laughs> the perfect timing there from SMF uh, to survive the bomb in the corner and we're going to see a 14 to 4 scoreline. So Mike simply on the brink of taking this. So the double warps coming in now from flip side. And we're going to see where they are playing. It's going to be Berg and Twist. So there is Berg. Oh, this is going to be interesting. And he's got Twist looking down middle. Berg looking for the pick there. Oh, it gets the tag onto Hunden. Hunden is bleeding profusely. We're going to see Twist now onto the angle as well from uh, onto CT. Oh, sorry, onto the uh, second mid area. And MSL is going to find Benji over towards B. And that's certainly going to cause a bit of a rotation here as uh, we do see that Twist decides to take his AWP to B now. And uh, it's quite I quite like that, that they play the two AWPs there on A. Obviously, it's a little bit risky. As if there was a quick play, then the two AWPs aren't going to be so strong against that. But uh, it seems largely that Mike SMG have a very slow pace. Nice peak there from Berg. Going to take down MSL as SMF. And Asilian makes their way up towards A from Apartments. They are setting up the push now and ready with the flash for Asilian. 
Gonna be the first man to peek towards the pit. In he goes, trying to get the entry there onto the player at pit. Very, very key frag. If Dumas goes down without doing any damage, this is huge. But Dumas already with two frags towards quad. The bomb is down, and they can't quite find him. So being very patient for the peek, but too much time wasted. And now SMF is now the last man against three. The bomb is down in front of the blue truck, and this is certainly very, very annoying there for SMF. He's going to get taken down and. Uh, Flip side, hold on, another round, but uh, they cannot set a single foot wrong at this point. It would be ill-advised to uh, make any mistakes now. 14 to 5. Flip side with such a long climb back into the match. So of course, they do have the two ops still running in this uh, match now. Berg is just... AFK in the spawn? I don't know exactly what the bug is up to, but it doesn't look good. That's not like some super awesome sick flash, by the way. That's just that's just Berg sitting in spawn. Um, so I'm not sure what that's about. Either way, the boy they're going to get smoked off by Twist. He's, Berg has finally found himself, found his mouse, and he's uh, going to go for it now. Get himself in position, and we're going to see uh, Benji in a position to actually take MSL down. I think he might have just spotted... The jump, but I'm not sure about that actually. He is going to fall back. He does have an easy frag if he did spot the pixels there, but in they come into Benji's position and uh, they are going to be challenging. And Benji gets two frags, has to switch to the pistol, but in comes Zende. Q Zende. He's going to take himself down one, and it's just uh, Freeze and SMF left over, and not much for them to accomplish. Unfortunately for my XMG, it's not SMF with the bomb. Could have been a bit of what? How on earth did he even find that bomb plant? The knife, whatever. But how did he find the bomb plant? There's like four CTs surrounding him. Did they just look at him? Did they just stare him down? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I, f I <laughs> kind of reserved to just, or resigned to the fact that he was just going to instantly die and was already looking at what was going on with the uh, SMF there. But apparently he's just going to get a bomb down in the middle of uh, four CTs. So apparently that's the thing. The Glock. Never mind. Anyway, my XMG, 14 to 6 now. Uh, Slip side slowly climb back into the game. But again, it just takes one round here, and uh, all the pressure is is on. Flips like going with a, a very passive opening. Um, this is certainly going to be very strong against uh, heavy pick plays. If if they read that Mike and G are going to go for very heavy pick plays, and this is very good. They're actually going for three men around quad. Actually, this is a uh, there we go. This is quite an interesting uh, choice. And it's certainly a nice mix-up from the, for the defense. It's definitely a nice one. And Mike SMG have have shown that they do like to get themselves out of boilers. So I'll just see if that push comes in anytime soon. It is going to be up middle, middle now. They do smoke off uh, CT Arch. This is a brilliant read actually from Flipside. Smoking off CT Arch, trying to open up quad, but there was three players there left to try to deal with it. And we can see that there is a positive result to uh, Flipside as they read that round so very well. Or perhaps just a very, very uh, good gamble from them. As MSL goes in for the opener, looking for the entry, does spot a single player, but his position is given away. Smoke on the CT, MSL has to do a lot for his team now as the fire does go down. If the entries don't come, the round is going to fall out of their hands now. Masal makes his way into pool, but smoked off. The jump shot onto Benji, finds his head. Zender, though, in with the trade onto Freeze. MSL with a second one, and all of a sudden it's a two on two, and one has an orb, switches out for an AK, and here comes Berg around the side, but MSL gets pop flashed in. That's all that needs to be done, as the frag comes easily afterwards, and it all rests on twist. Here he comes, though, with the AK. And it's CZ in his hand. No time to waste. Jumping around the site like he has a care in the world. But he's about to find out that MSL has his head in his reticle. And he pulls the trigger and takes Mike SMG to 15 rounds to the sixth of flip side. And it's all on this now for flip side. They are in a horrible situation. So we'll have to see if uh, flip side can find something special in this round. We do have a uh, you know, freeze going for the AWP as well. Look at this, here comes the peak. Oh, perhaps not. As the uh, push is coming down towards Banana. And Benji now kind of standing by his, his lonesome. Is going to be able to find a couple frags with the FAMAS. Oh, gets the dink as well. Another dink. And again, the USP finishing off the last two players. And that was incredible there from Benji. Keeping Flipside alive in this match. 
I mean, it may not end up being anything, but he at least keeps the hope alive. He keeps the candle burning for flip side as uh, against all odds, they're able to take that round. And rounds like that, they are not going to happen consistently. Flip side need to find another answer outside of Benji clutching one versus forward to a USB tag to balance frags. Oh, the double nade. Beautiful stuff there from Flipside as uh, they do get uh, some players down there. Beautiful stuff indeed. And uh, Berg and Twist coming in with uh, many kills. But as we can hear at the start of that round, that, uh, that match point sound is certainly going to be an intimidating sound for Flipside to hear from every single round that they win from this point forwards. This is going to be that, round, that, uh, that sound informing them that should they falter even once, then they, they're done. And here comes the AKs and the little, the, 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 a piece of amount of grenades here as well from my XMG. A lot of utility in this round for them. They, they choose to use it, but the aggressive play from Twist down apartments with the orb is going to give Flipside an early edge. There goes the peak, and Benji takes the frag. My XMG in a lot of trouble now in this round. However, they are in a position, of course to play the War of Attrition. Having uh, just one round to win the match, they can really try to barrel down the economy of Flipside until they're forced into such an awkward buy that they can't possibly come out victorious. At least that is uh, perhaps what they thought before Benji came along in the previous round. But we have a twist on the angle here from library side with the AWP. There's only three men alive for my XMG. They're going to have to do some quite stellar to take out Twist in this spot right now, or just a smoke. That works as well. Twist without an angle to shoot from, and they do open their way up through towards Speedway, but Twist finds himself another angle. They know he's there, and they're going to be jumping into his position, and Twist does get the first frag. In comes SMF to cut him off, to cut him off with the AK, and that's going to be Hunda now moving into the entry. Does actually find it onto Benji. Two on three out of nowhere. SMF going to go down as uh, Hunda tries to get himself a frag in the back of B. Problem is, though, with 10 seconds left and the bomb far away, this is a doomed round for Hunden. Flip side find themselves the ninth round as Hunden quite literally sleeps with the fishes. And uh, my XMG. Only one round, that's all they need. But they're even forced to an eco now. Twist and Benji with the orps. So Twist's going to go for the push towards the balcony, it looks like. This is often very strong. I love this. But he's going to do the jump spot. And in fact, that's going to inform him not to get close, which is also really smart to actually jump spot there. Get the call. More important than uh, risking your life for a single frag. And a bit of a jerk there from the good TV, but it's uh, one kill after another here. But actually, it looks like two frags being found by my XMG. Aren't they going to be able to pick off one onto Berg as well? Trying to <laughs> grab that bomb and a weapon. Gets himself both. It is Christmas here for Hunden. C4 and an M4 for him. And I think he picked up a couple of grenades as well. He's actually against two players. So Hunden with a minute left, if he's smart and lucky. He's going to be able to pull this one off. He has Benji on the angle, though, and we can't forget Benji's teammate as well. But uh, Hunden is going to fall back. I think I had a, a knife there, and Hunden is going to use that information to just rotate all the way back towards the B bomb site. 30 seconds left, and they haven't moved an inch. Flip side, Benji and Zender. They may as well be statues. Look at this, they just haven't moved a single muscle at the moment. It's finally a, a degree of doubt enters the minds of Flipsiders. They are going for this gamble. They don't possibly want a one-on-one. -on -one. They want a two-on-one. -on -one. So either it's a two-on-one -on -one as Hunden goes for A, or a two-on-one -on -one retake. And this is going to be the retake, which is certainly going to help Hunden. But no Kevlar. He has to execute them. They can't put a foot wrong. Here they come. Hunden going to find the first frag. Benji knows where he is now. And Hunden has eight bullets left. No time to reload. He's got to make it happen with it. He's going to have to switch to the P250. Hunden, can he make this happen? Has to go for the reload. And Benji missing all the shots. The hip shot finally to connect. And my goodness, the bomb is so far ticked. Absolutely, surely not. Oh my goodness. And Hunden's going to find the victory. What a round to end everything on. And that's going to be my XMG taking down Flipside in this match to uh, bring themselves 
to the winner 